so quiet. No one here. Time to start walking around the ship naked. Woohoo! Alright, that was a bad joke. Uh, anyway, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Our crew has been captured. But our team is strong. They are ready for battle. So it's time to go off on suicide mission. Which is what it's called. This is, like, everyone refers to this as the suicide mission. Just to give a little bit of a hint as to, you know, what to expect. Sorry. Hit Omega just to buy a couple last upgrades. One thing I want to make, uh, one thing I just want to stress right now. Do not, do not, do not, do not do any missions after the crew gets uh, kidnapped. The reasons will become clear during this uh, during this mission. I've read this before. May as well read it again. The Omega-4 Relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through the Relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly in the, improver the, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the Collectors capture or destroy those passing through the Relay. We know that it is in the Galactic Core, surrounded by black holes. But we also know that we can go through it now. So let's do it. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 Relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. It's, it's time to go. We have to launch the rescue mission. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 Relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. If you're romancing anyone, this is when the romance scene occurs. Most of them come visit you in your cabin. Uh, Miranda has you visit her. is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? One way or another, we'll get the job done. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side. Salute from her. She doesn't seem like the salute type. Yeah, if you romance uh, Miranda, she has you meet her in the uh, in the engineering room for some sexy times. No way I was going to betray her, though. Shit. 
Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. <laughs> Let's invite him along. I got room on the Normandy if you're that eager to see it. It's a tempting offer, but it's not my place. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. I feel like he actually was sincere about it being tempting. But he would be willing to take that risk. Approaching Omega-4 Relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. And good music here. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. Suicide mission. Achievement unlocked. Shit. Yeah, music is great. <sighs> Too close. These must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Yeah, that's a lot. Has to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Oh, we've been spotted. Careful, Jeff. We have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Edie, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. Yep, if you don't have that, somebody dies. Come on, girl, let's give it to him. If you don't have the uh, advanced armor, then somebody dies. If you don't have the shield upgrade, somebody dies. Although well, not just yet. Alert. Hull breach on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, command. Uh, let's see. Grunt. Ah, uh, not very useful. And since this is likely to be the last time I ever use him, why not? Well, let's throw in Jacob. I do hate the way that the, uh, that the fact that the way the powers are set up means that you're going to be left over with, for almost everybody, you're going to be left over with one useless squad point. 
Some people you might have two, but for most characters, you'll have one completely useless squad point left. So ridiculous. There's heavy ammo, uh, got it around, but I kind of think that I probably don't really need it. Grab more heavy ammo. Greedy going for the heavy ammo, which I didn't even need. I've got a hunt. I've got maxed out heavy ammo as it is. I just wanted to get the credits. All right, I'm not gonna bother with the heavy ammo this time. You've been spotted. They try to encourage you to use heavy weapons, but, like, you really don't need to use them. We're sitting ducks out here! I have to try to lose them in the debris field! Sounds good. Our kinetic barriers are not designed to survive impact with debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in! Yep, yeah, yeah, if you didn't upgrade the barriers, and someone gets killed uh, here. Come on, find some room. Kinetic barriers at forty percent. Reroute non-critical power. This is gonna hurt. This is where someone would die. Kinetic barriers steady at thirty percent. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. They've seen us. And I think probably no more uh, heavy weapon ammo here. I guess there is. Grab more heavy ammo. I'm only doing it for the credits. Literally, that's the only reason I'm bothering. Weird bug, if you brought Miranda with you, then she still says that through your earpiece. There it is. 
the Collector Base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Sure seems like the Collectors only have the one ship. Yep, the Thanix cannon. Boom! I get like that, you sons of bitches. Getting close and finish them off. Everybody, hold on. Gonna be a wild ride. Again, if you don't have the Thanix cannon, and once again, somebody dies, you're not as effective at killing them. You don't kill the collectors as effectively, so they get a shot off, and somebody. Dies. Look out! So those three upgrades are necessary to keep everyone alive. You can lose three people before you. Generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All brace for impact. That hurts. And again, hurts. Especially Joker. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. <sighs> we all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the Collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. <clears throat> What's next? How long until the Collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the Collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. Good music here. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. Good you set should Talia be able to Paris. overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center but here. But you can't. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's gotta be something. Here. Maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? And yes, first decision. So, tech specialist. Revered as a mechanical genius, even among the advanced engineers of the Corians. She is most effective when faced with technical problems that can be solved with the application of intelligence rather than brute force. A brilliant scientist, researcher, and infamous inventor. Although his knowledge is extensive on a variety of subjects, his true genius is for all matters biological. He is seldom found outside his lab, where his restless mind can focus without distraction. So he's not a good choice. He specializes in biology, not uh, tech. 
trained to become the perfect killer, he's an unrivaled assassin, feared throughout the galaxy for his uncanny skill and unmatched experience. Mastered small arms, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and biotics, he's versatile and can adapt to nearly any given situation. Again, not a tech expert. Good at, he's great at uh, stealth, at sneaking through places, not great at opening things. She is a master thief and unmatched infiltration specialist. Rather than face down hostile forces directly, she prefers to expertly bypass the defenses of her next mark without firing a shot. Veteran officer of C's Citadel Security who quit to lead his own elite military group within the Terminus systems to combat crime at its source. He has gathered a wealth of experience in underworld investigation, sabotage, and guerrilla-style assaults on criminal holdings. He's good at tech. He does have some tech skills. But he's not really a specialist. A seasoned combat professional and veteran of the Alliance military. In addition to training in advanced tactics and field operations, he has a disciplined biotic of considerable power. Terrible choice. He has absolutely no tech knowledge whatsoever. Utterly fearless and proficient in combat. It possesses the collective memory of the entire Geth, and has the unmatched technical expertise of a sentient machine that can be used with calculated proficiency. So, Legion, Kasumi, and Tally can all do it. Uh, Legion and Tally are obvious choices. Uh, Kasumi, you know, you might not immediately think of her, but again, infiltration specialist. She's good at hacking. She knows how to hack. Uh, I'm going to send Tally. We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Obviously, Morden, not a leader. Ex-Alliance military and one of the galaxy's most famous bounty hunters. A veteran of decades of waging war for profit, he is determined, skilled, and deadly on the battlefield. You might think that he'd be uh, a reasonable choice. He's led men into battle before. But just think of how many, uh, how many of the stories end with him as the only survivor. As uh, the only one to get out alive. Yeah. Designed and manufactured to be the ultimate broken and the perfect warrior. He understands little about his world apart from love of conflict. In war, he is the battering ram and shock trooper, a moving wall of hard scales and steel. Not a leader. One of the honored and feared Asari Jessicars, her incredible biotic powers have been honed into a devastating weapon by a fanatical adherence to a strict code of justice and the immense wisdom that comes with centuries of experience. She's got a lot of experience, but it's she's a solo operator. She's always been on her own. She fights on her own. She's not a leader. Regarded as one of the most dangerous criminals in the galaxy, her capacity for violence is matched only by her iron will and obsessive resolve to destroy her enemies. She was subjected to uh, experimental drugs and illegal medical procedures as a child to enhance her already prodigious biotic talents. Not a leader. Thane, great killer. Not a leader. Kasumi, not a leader. Genetically manufactured to be superior in every way, she can move effortlessly from formidable, formidable biotic and superior soldier to brilliant technician and vigilant guardian. And then Legion, I got also not a leader. So, one of these three. Any of these three can do it. So the only question, really, is who do you want to bring with you? Alright, I'm going to send Garrus to lead the other team. He deserves it. He's a good leader. Garrus. You're in charge of the second team. And everyone respects him. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. Nice that she appreciates. 
I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. And, uh, kick-ass music kicking in. We don't know how many the Collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do here today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. Hell yeah. So I'm going to bring Miranda. And Grunt. <laughs> it's just, honestly, they're just, the two of them are just too good to not bring. Yep, and we've all got the weapons we need. Bitchin' music. Team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Wrong choice with either of those does result in you losing somebody. as he was jumping. Nice. You don't really need to worry about uh, finding anything along here. Yet. I'm stuck. Something's blocking the pipe. Looks like some kind of gate. There, over by the ventilation shaft. That valve should open the gate. Actually, I don't think, we need, I don't think there's anything to find along this entire first section. You just need to open that. The gate is open. Moving forward. Incoming. Ah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> 
cool that you can see them as you go along. Didn't, she didn't even need to ask this time. Whoops, I didn't actually mean to use single air. to kill uh, everyone around Harbinger before you get uh, before you kill Harbinger. more valves to go, so we're over halfway there. We're getting close. Looks like another one of those things in the way. I'm on it, Tally. I'm on it. I'm not... Don't worry, Tally. I wouldn't leave you in the lurch. Is just nothing can hurt me. Nice and quick and easy. Uh, where is she? I can't actually see her anymore. Okay. Come in! Look out! Sigur Swarm! We're in position! We need this door open now! Go! We'll cover you! This the is why you need. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Bad fire team leader, and you lose your tech specialist. You need to see this. I think you can also lose your fire team leader there. I think. Or no, it's a different one. Different spot where you can. Yeah, you lose your tech specialist if uh, you make a bad choice.
Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more! Over here! She's still alive! Yeah, this is, uh, unsettling. Get them out of there! Hurry! Yeah, she just got melted. That's not something that you like to see. She's okay. And Dr. Chakwas. Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... you came for us. So, if you do any missions before, after the crew gets kidnapped. You lose somebody. Uh, I think you lose half the crew if you do three missions, and the entire crew if you do four missions. So, do no missions after the crew gets kidnapped. The crew gets kidnapped, one to two missions after you do the... Uh, Reaper after you acquire the Reaper IFF. Which means that within one or two missions after you get Legion, your crew gets kidnapped, and if you don't go rescue them right, right away, you lose people. So that's why you have to wait until you have done all the loyalty missions. That's why you have to wait until you're ready to do the final mission before you actually get the Reaper IFF and before you get uh, Legion. Which sucks. It means that you just cannot get Legion until the very end of the game. I wish you could, but you just can't. Anyway. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Dr. Chak was able to... be at least a little bit scientific about it. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are Indeed. we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. Well, that's problematic. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? So, yeah, any of the buttocks. That said, as with the other choices you make, not all choices are equal. Samara can do it. Jack can do it. No one else can do it because none of the others are powerful enough biotics. So if you choose, if you choose Miranda, you will lose somebody. Uh, which makes sense. I mean, 
you know, you need a strong biotic field. So, you know, either uh, either a Jessicar with strength to rival a matriarch, or the most powerful human biotic uh, in the galaxy. No wrong choice here between either of them. I'm going with Jack. Jack and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Garrus did, did well the first time. I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. Yep. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. This choice doesn't matter. You might think that, uh, you know, you need to choose the right person here. Anyone can escort them back. Um, if you don't send someone to escort them, they don't make it back, sadly. So yeah, really the the smartest choices really are either Morden or Thane. Um, you know, Thane is good at you know sneaking around. Morden is actually the best choice. Uh, for reasons which I will explain after I do the section called The Long Walk. Uh, so yeah, I'll explain why in a few minutes why you want to send Morden back, why Morden is the best choice. From a narrative perspective, eh, you can help Dr. Chakwas check out the, the crew. Yeah, make sure everyone is healthy. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. It's again, Miranda. And... AI hacking. Completely and totally pointless. Um, here. In fact... Actually, no, there is one more place where, uh, one more mission where AI hacking can be useful, but. Yeah, let's go with Thane. Moving out! Stay close if you want to live! Done. Change. Weapons. Very well. Yeah, he does have that touch. Damn. The swarms are interfering with radio contact. Ready for this? Let's go, Commander! Incoming! I see you, Shepard! Alright, he moved on, that's good.
All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Yep, let's keep going. Once again, there's nothing you need to worry about uh, collecting. This mission has nothing to collect at all. Like ready the to move, entire Commander. mission. So, you don't need to worry about searching for things to cut. Uh, going outside the shield, you will immediately get hit. Husks to worry about. Ah. For a certain value of work. There is no pain. There is no fear. I'll be here. Commander. I never mentioned, but uh, depending on who you bring with you, uh, Harbinger will have uh, species based haunts. I think he might specifically mention the Asari as having uh, most potential. Krogan, I think he says. Uh, Krogan, I think he mentions as wasted potential. Drell, insufficient numbers. Could be a real firefight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. Commander. Okay, that was kind of funny. That, uh, that abomination just got sort of stuck in the air. And, uh, I believe 
that's the last stop we make. Moving out, Commander. Well, there might, there might be one more. I don't remember. I feel like that's the last. One. Was even the button I meant to hit. To hold on. All right, good to know that that's uh, also effective. I can see the entrance. Need to get there soon. Yeah, she starts rushing because she's exhausted. Miranda suddenly holding an assault rifle, because why not? Jack's awesome. Fire team leader, uh, can't survive that. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. Should note, uh, Miranda is the only character who cannot die by this point. Anyone else, it's possible for them to have died. Uh, either in the ship, uh, during the approach, or during any of the uh, bits leading up to this. Uh, Miranda always survives this far. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. So, Miranda, naturally, Brought her with me to Sar to Saren. Tally's a bad choice to bring with you, realistically. She's just not like she just doesn't have the weapons or the powers that are a good fit for fighting collectors. But I brought her with me to uh to fight Saren. So, it's just tradition at this point. So, having said this, uh, so yeah, again, doesn't really matter. So, at this point, there is a hold the line score. Um, 
based on who you have uh, defending the uh, the rear, uh, based on whether they're loyal, based on and uh, each character, each of the characters has a certain score, uh, and you need to have uh, a hold the line score, hold the line rating uh, of a certain point. Uh, otherwise, people will die. Uh, I think Grunt has the highest hold the line rating. Uh, Garrus has a high one. Uh, Zaid has a high one. I think Samaras is okay. Uh, Jacobs, I think, is pretty good. Uh, Miranda's is pretty okay. Miranda, uh, Morden has the lowest hold the line score. Uh, with, I think, Tally actually having the second lowest. Another good reason to bring her with you. Uh, it, yeah. So yeah, depending on the score, you'll lose certain characters. Uh, Morden is the character with the lowest uh, all the line rating. He is the character who is most likely to die. Uh, so that's why he's the one that you definitely want to send back with the survivors, with the crew. Uh, otherwise, he's uh, at a significant risk of dying. Uh, Grunt, awesome as Grunt is, you probably want to bring. Uh, you probably want to leave him behind, just because he's going to uh, make everyone else that much more likely to survive. In this case, I could probably bring Grunt with me, and everyone would survive. But there is a. There's actually even aside from Miranda just being really, really good. There actually is a specific reason I want to bring her with me. And then Talia I want to bring with me mostly just because, again, like I said, I brought her to Saren, brought her for the final mission there, bring her for the final mission here. It just makes sense. I'm ready, Commander. So am I. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Well said. Let's go finish this. Damn right. <laughs> Jack standing off to the side like, Ugh, I don't want to hear a speech. Enemies incoming! Here is... 
Enemies incoming. Huff. Oh, not yet. All of them have barriers this time. This is what you I'm glad that body doesn't matter because I'm tearing it apart. Yeah, here is far and away the absolute toughest. Uh, guys. Alright, let's see if I can refill my ammo. Yep, ammo's refilled. Quick and easy. Alright, and here we go. Uh, this is going to be the final fight. And, uh, it's going to be a moderately tough one. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. A human Reaper. Precisely. Original design was going to have it look like a an, uh, an embryo. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the Reaper. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Eh, no. Um... This is like it's weird that it is weird that they designed it to look like a human because all other reapers look like cuttlefish. Uh, speculation among the fan base uh, is that sort of the insides of it look like uh, whatever, like there's a uh, part of it that looks like whatever species is being used to design uh, or being used to make it. Beyond that, I mean. It's nowhere near large enough to be a regular Reaper. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. So yeah, this is a Reaper baby. It's a Reaper fetus. So like I said, one of, or one of the original concept designs would have had it looking like an actual fetus. What do the collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction, or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. 
However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers Indoctrination. The Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over How do you time, figure the failure? The Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. What's her evidence that their attempt to create a Prothean Reaper failed? Like, how would she even speculate that? How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being... created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. Doesn't seem to. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We've got to take care of some old friends first. Enemy! He's in co Coming! Switch up! Heavy weapons. Injection tubes. Ah, uh, fuck this. Damn it. Screwed up. Usually you can get two at a time. That's gonna take me three tries this time. this time. I do like the uh, music here. Team, status report. It failed. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. 
I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. In theory, it's random which uh, squad mate uh, answers you. I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. The thing does seem to pop up a lot there. This is why I brought Miranda. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I still have to destroy the base. Not necessary. I have a better option. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. <laughs> no. They liquefied people. Turn them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. So, yeah, depending on who you have, they'll uh, express their opinions. Uh, a lot of them are not keen on keeping the base. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. Yeah, I do not trust the elusive man. Even, like, even setting aside just how abhorrent this place is. I don't trust the elusive man with this place. Hell no. No. No way. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake. About everything Cerberus has done for you. You... That's a cool moment, but it does feel a little bit out of nowhere. That's it. I like her. I like Let's the, move. the line. We got 10 minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. That said, if this next part takes more than 10 minutes, you're okay. This is ridiculous, the way it just sort of plays hide and seek. So goofy and stupid. Where are you, buddy? So you gotta do a little bit of regular damage to it first. It is an annoying fight because of its tendency to just pop up and pop down, pop up, pop down. It moves around a lot. Yep. 
two shots from the, from the cane. This moment was in the uh, launch trailer for the game. Though with a male shepherd. Just calling her name. And yeah, even if that fight takes more than 10 minutes, it's fine. This place doesn't blow up on you. You don't get a mission failure or anything. If your squad mates are unloyal, if you bring someone who's not loyal with you here, they will die. And uh, good music here. Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely your greater. And that which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Now, a very unsurprising uh, revelation. Actually, first, a really cool scene. Joker getting to kick some ass. Jump, Shepard! Jump! Mario this shit! Yeah, if your squad mates weren't loyal and you and they died, then you actually die right there. Detonation in 10, 9, 8. Yeah, I get the gist of it, Edie. Hold on! I didn't count the seconds, but if that feels like more than 10. About that, uh, the Collector General's last moments there. Hard to tell if it's if it feels abandoned or relief. Where did we jump to? We jumped to light speed. Why? Like we went to the FCL, but where did we jump to? Yeah, ship looking a little bit worse for wear. Great music on the run for the escape, though, eh? Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. <laughs> Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Which is why human I didn't want to let it. Or just Cerberus. Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger's coming and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. Yeah, I'm not going to hang up. And I'm going to do exactly what you brought me back to do. I'm going to win this war, and I'll do it without sacrificing the soul of our species.
This music's good too. If you preserve it, I think then that star is uh, red. If you uh, do a renegade through playthrough. Yeah. No one left behind achievement. Survived the suicide mission, everyone did. So much for a suicide mission. If you lose anyone, then there is, uh, then there are coffins in here. Jack giving a little nod. I got her respect. Yeah, that's a lot. All right, so there's a little bit more, a uh, couple more episodes of Mass Effect to go. I still got to do Overlord, and there's one other mission, but that is pretty much the end of uh, Mass Effect 2. So, this was promoted by BioWare as the Dark Middle chapter. Uh, compared to Empire Strikes Back. Uh, it is a lot of people's favorite game in the trilogy. Probably most people's favorite game in the trilogy. I rank it my third. It's probably my least favorite. Uh, the gameplay is much improved. Huge improvements in the gameplay. Uh, plays a lot better than the first game, no doubt. Uh, the characters are all really cool. Uh, accepting Jacob. Jacob's boring. Other than that, all the characters are really cool and interesting. Uh, and, you know, getting to explore them through their loyalty missions and everything. Uh, yep, there's a lot of really compelling stories with them. Here's my issue with it. It doesn't feel... It feels, this game, I've described this in the past as side quest the game. None of, nothing we do here really feels like it advances the franchise's main plot of fighting the Reapers. Uh, there's only a handful of missions in this game that actually have anything to do with the Collectors. You know, Freedom's Progress, Warren's Recruitment, the Collector Base Horizon, or the Collector Ship Horizon. That's pretty much it. It's... Everything else is just building your team. It's just all side quests. Every mission feels disconnected from the rest of the game, uh, from everything else going on. Uh, and Obviously, a lot of people love the team building aspect of it, and the team building is done really well. Except, it never feels to me like you're building a team. It feels like a collection of individuals who have nothing to do with each other. The two conflicts that we got between Miranda and Jack and between Tally and Legion, those were really cool. Those were interesting. I wish there had been more of those. Uh, there were plans, I said, for uh, Morden uh, Grunt, and there was speculation that there was going to be one for uh, Jacob and, uh, and Thane. Uh, Would have been cool. Would have been good to have that. Uh, beyond that, though, it's like... There's so few moments where anyone actually talks to each other, where there's any actual interactions between characters. You know, Mass Effect 1 at least had the elevator ride, if nothing else. Um, and it was a tighter team. I feel like this game suffered from having too many characters. I would have cut out Thane and Samara, at least. 
They're good characters. I'm not criticizing the characters. But I feel like they're the ones who bring the absolute least in terms of purpose for being there. So I would have cut them out in order to have more room for all the other characters that you do have to interact with each other. Um, and that, like I said, it's... The main story is... feels like a side quest from the team building, uh, and also feels like a side quest for the main plot of stopping the Reapers. Um... So yeah, the whole game feels like just side quests to a side quest. And it's just not, it just doesn't hold up story-wise. That's my take. Most people love the game because of the fact that it is building up a great team of characters in order to build up to that Suicide Mission, which is awesome. The Suicide Mission is fantastic. Uh, great combat throughout it. Each section is done really well with you having to choose uh, who does what. And there are consequences if you choose wrong. You do have to choose properly. If you make a wrong choice, somebody dies. You can lose a lot of your team, most of your team, if you make uh, enough bad choices. You can even lose yourself. You can die. You're not likely to, but you can. You can actually die. Uh, which obviously means that you can't uh, port uh, that save to Mass Effect 3. Um, and that, I mean, the planet scanning is unbearable without that uh, without what I downloaded, without that mod I downloaded, uh, is just bad. The planet scanning is bad. Even Bioware admitted that it was just really, really badly done. Uh, the, the mod I downloaded is necessary in order to make it bearable. Um, exploration There isn't the same sense of exploration as the uh, first game, which is understandable because it is the second game. Doesn't have quite the same uh, sense of newness, which is understandable. Uh, first game was all world building. Um, this game, the build, the world's already built. Um, so you know that's all totally understandable. Uh, You don't really get a same antagonist. You know, you have Harbinger all throughout, but he's... He lacks the gravitas of Saren and Sovereign. Um, he just ends up being... Just... A, hot, a more powerful mook. Really? Um, so you don't get the same sense of... Uh, menace from him that you get from Sovereign and Saren. Uh, there's no real big plot reveals. Uh, not that a game, not that every story needs plot reveals, but. Um, so yeah, I am not as enamored with Mass Effect 2 as uh, a lot of other people are. I still enjoy it. Uh, yep, it is still a fun game. It's still, uh, it's still a lot of fun. There's some great levels, uh, some great characters, uh, Exploring the characters is cool. I do really, 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 really wish there were more uh, conversations with all the characters. There are so few conversations with some of those characters. Uh, I wish there were more. Uh, I mean, they only had so much time, so much resources, but... it's another reason why I wish they had a slightly smaller 
uh, team. But anyway, I still like the game. And unlike Mass Effect 1, there is post-game content. You have stopped the Collectors from creating the Human Reaper. You now have two choices. Continue this game. Complete unfinished missions, develop relationships, play downloaded content, and explore the galaxy for anything you miss. Import Shepard. Start a new sh game with this character at your current level, uh, with your current level, with your current root weapons, as well as bonus starting credits and resources. Continue. Yeah, not going to do that just yet. Gonna go talk to everybody. Uh, yeah, it's just... It's a great game. I just don't rank it as highly as everyone else does. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, I know. You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Of course I came. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Yeah, she just starts talking. From now on, whenever you talk to her, she just... I told you we turned the Collector's a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. Damn right I did. Again, not going to uh, do all of uh, yes, Edie's sure. new revelations just yet. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Hey, Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's never over. I assume everything's going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. <laughs> what am I looking at here? A 90-10 split? And that's being generous. Commander, don't be unfair. She does way more than that. Joker. I have the capacity to accommodate the slacking of any number of productively suspect humans, Shepard. <laughs> That was a joke. She tries very hard. That's it for now. <laughs> See you, Commander. This episode's probably already running a little bit long, but I'm just going to uh, talk to everybody. And yeah, you don't get any uh, credits or anything for that one. While monitoring outgoing transmission sent by the mysterious leader of the Collectors to his minions on the battlefield, Cerberus intelligence experts were also intercepted incoming transmissions. The signals were encrypted commands sent to the Collector General from a source outside the galaxy. This directing intelligence is likely the Reaper that refers to itself as Harbinger. This indicates that the Collector General, previously thought of as a puppeteer-like figure, was essentially a mere conduit through which Harbinger mobilized the Collector's mission to protect and nurture an embryonic reaper by providing it a steady supply of humans. In this way, the Collectors allowed the Proto-Reaper to incorporate the human genome into its own construction, though why a reaper would want such a thing is unclear. Uh, speculation I've seen uh, with that releasing control, speculation I've seen is that uh, that was basically to avoid the same kind of feedback that uh, Sovereign got when I killed Saren. Back on the Citadel. Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. <laughs> Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. We'll talk later. Commander. 
Yep, I have the best enemies. Uh, let's see, what is going to be useful in the next place I'll be going to? Everybody has an opinion on you, uh, on your choice about whether to preserve or destroy the collector base. Uh, everyone disapproves if you keep it. Literally everybody. Even if they suggest, even if they back for it. I never want to go through anything like that again, but we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. Uh, even if they recommend keeping it while you're on the base. Because a couple of them will say that it's uh, worth keeping, but even then, when you get off, they'll be like, well, I don't know, that seems like a bad idea. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. Thanks. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. I should go. Of course. Yeah, I think Legion, I believe, says that it's uh, smart to keep it, and then disapproves when you... You have to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Oh, also, uh, at this point, you can call up... Uh, hey, got a minute? If you romance somebody, you can call them up to your quarters to either uh, cuddle on the couch or snuggle in your bed. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Nah, she's got nothing. For some reason I thought she I had- I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. He did. And then he just got batted away. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your aces in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Yeah, I decided to get it, because why the hell not? I had... I've still got uh, 104 uh, or 1.4 million platinum. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. My pleasure, Doc. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. Uh, I'll talk to more. Back to work. Acknowledged. I'll talk to him more in the next, uh... Next episode. Like I said, probably three. I'll do three more. Episodes. Overlord, I do. Overlord will be split into two episodes, and then there's one episode. There's going to be one more mission after that. For Saren, now the collectors remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. I'll also go check out uh, next episode. I will also go to the collect uh, to the Shatter Brokers base to uh, show Legion's dossier. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the collector base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe in the I'm the elusive. Aside from that, I'll let you. Of course, Commander. And yeah, her. Miranda's little, consider this my resignation, 
like I said, it's a cool moment, but there isn't enough build up to it. Like throughout the game, she unquestionably, unquestioningly supports Cerberus. Like she doesn't even hesitate. She has no doubt. So it's just her just suddenly deciding, you know what? Nope, I'm out. It feels too sudden. I feel like there needed to be uh, more of her having doubts before we get to that point. I feel like the honestly, Jack's Lightly mission, the uh, Bragia, that should have uh, led to dialogue options where she expressed doubt uh, about Cerberus. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! <laughs> something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. That's all <laughs> for now. Shepard. <laughs> yep. We are the most dangerous thing in the galaxy. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. What do you think about service? Actually, we don't know much Anything about else? you. Anything else? Carry on. Will do, Commander. We've already kicked the uh, collectors right in their daddy bags, so... Nothing more from... So Ken doesn't uh, have anything to say now. Hey. Wow. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. I should go. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Jack has no opinions. Suppose I should have expected that? But I like how Jack is... The one who hates Cerberus most. Is the one who's just like... No, I got nothing to say. I can't believe we destroyed the Collector base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that said about a lot of things you do. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. I don't know, I feel like Jack should have had something to say about uh, us turning our backs on Cerberus. And I think Thinking about got past them. missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass palms. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I think. Right. Turns out it was a trap. And uh, my ship is two nice a back in peace. And a Hannah. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Alright, so that's it for this episode. Next episode, uh, I will do some... I'll talk to uh, Edie and Legion. I will read Legion's dossier, and I will start Overlord. Overlord. And this arrival is going to be the final episode. So yeah, uh, aside from Overlord and Arrival, which are DLCs, that is Mass Effect 2. That's the end of the game. That's everything. Uh, like I said, there's a couple conversations. There's one or two conversations. I can still get with Legion, along with uh, his uh, reading his dossier. Uh, and there's still dialogue for Edie, now that she's been uh, unshackled. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's that's the game. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I, I enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy the game. I enjoy the characters. Uh, I just feel like story-wise, it's lacking. That's my complaint about Mass Effect 2, is there's no real storyline throughout the game. Uh, and I enjoy stories. I enjoy story-driven... I like character-driven stories, but I do like for there to be a story. You know? And this game just didn't have any real story. 
Uh, I wish more of the missions had tied into the collectors and the reapers. Uh, I also feel like the game should have included a little bit more about you know finding ways to stop the reapers. I feel like that needed to be a bigger part of it. Because um, we're not just stopping the collectors, but finding ways uh, to stop the Reapers. We get a revelation, we get a, like a minor revelation about the Reapers, that they turn, that they transform uh, species into themselves. That basically they uh, reproduce with the dominant species of each, of each cycle. But... That's a pretty minor revelation. Really, it's not... It's not actually all that important. You know, it's just, it's not important how they reproduce. What matters, if their, mo their motives aren't important. None of that is actually important. What matters is finding a way to stop them. In this game, we do absolutely nothing to find a way to stop them. So I feel like there should have been... Uh, sort of a part of it where there was also questing to find information that might help to defeat the Reapers. But there's nothing. So. But, like I said, that's all I got to say about it. The suicide mission is excellent. It is just one of the highlights of the trilogy. For sure. Uh, it Everybody loves the suicide mission. Nobody's got anything bad to say about the suicide mission, myself included. It's just a thrill to play through. Every time, it's uh, it's great to do. But uh, for now, I will see you in the next episode for the first part of Overlord.